Jonas Vingegaard. Yeah, you know, if, if uh, people want to part ways, uh, then, uh, you know, I have too much respect for, for Primoz to, to make a, a big deal out of it, and, and he for us. So, uh, yes, to, to your question, of, of course we, we, uh, we are on good terms and we are still friends. And for me, he's still uh, the, big, the big man and our king who started in uh, 2016, uh, helped us starting to win. And uh, he will always be a part of our history. And, uh, you know, we, we, we cannot erase it, but we also do not want to erase it because he's part of, of what we did and what we achieved. And, and we are so proud of what we did together. And, uh, and now he, he wanted to, uh, to, to go another way. And that's, that's okay. Eh? It's, it's like, you know, uh, if you're a, a, a parent and your kids are leaving uh, the house, yeah, that's, that's normal in life, that people go different ways uh, at a certain moment. And I'm happy for him that he, he's found a good place for him. So, uh, and but yeah, next year he's a competitor. So uh, yeah, we will have to to beat him. And he's a strong rider. We know how strong he is. So it will be more difficult. Hello everyone. I'm sorry I cannot be there tonight, but it's a big honor for me to win the Velo de Or Award. Yeah, when I see all the, the names winning it in the past, it's a crazy feeling to, to also now have been the winner of it. And uh, I'm very happy to, to meet the, the icon uh, of cycling, uh, Eddie Max, who's going to give this uh, yeah, award to me. And uh, it's, it's very special. He's such a big icon and always winning every year round. And I'm always trying to do the same and, and try to win all the races that I'm that I'm doing and uh, yeah, I'm very happy with it at least. And uh, yeah, thank you for that and uh, have a good evening. I'm Koe Van Eupel, won uh, Velodor last year. This year it was Jonas Vingegaard. Uh, what made what makes the difference between last year and this year to win this award? Well, I don't know, but I think uh, that's it. I, I was not in the jury, so I don't know why uh, uh, this year it was Jonas. But for me, uh, yeah, winning the Tour de France and the way he did it, and also uh, stages in, uh, in the Vuelta, and the way he did uh, helped uh, Sepp to, to, uh, to win the, the Vuelta. Yeah, for me, it makes him uh, really a grand rider, let's say, a really personality and um, and and yeah therefore of course I think he earns uh, he earns his prize and yeah uh, next year it will be another one maybe next year is that possible to do better you think for my team yeah it will no it will be difficult because uh, there was never a, a team doing like we uh, what we did so it's historical what we did so uh, that that also shows how difficult it is and we are very proud uh, that we achieved this, but we also understand that and it's hard work and every team is working hard. So uh, yeah, everybody will fight and try to, uh, to beat us. So it will be really difficult to, uh, to, to maintain uh, this same level, but obviously we're going to try it. You are talking about work. Uh, you are also doing a lot of work on behind the stage. Uh, we uh, obviously uh, talk a lot about the merge of, with uh, Sodal uh, Quickstep. Uh, how is it going now for the, the future, Jumbo Visma? We have a lot of uh, information about uh, future sponsor and so on. Uh, are you uh, worried about the, the future with, uh, with Visma? No, not at all. Because we, have, uh, we had some options and uh, you know, we, we put to the, to the license uh, commission uh, our, our company name, Blanco Pro Cycling, because we wanted to uh, to honor uh, Jumbo Visma, uh, because uh, you know the, we had we had so much, uh, we are so proud and, and and thankful for what they did for us in the past years. We want to close this 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 let's say chapter uh, in a good way. So we only want to change the name at the end of the year, and obviously you guys all want to know it, and you are digging, and that's your job. So that's good. But we'd like to to honor uh, honor our our current sponsors until almost the last day of the year and then announce uh, who we will be in the next chapter of our team 
and there will be many chapters uh, after this one. So. Why, Why is it so challenging for a team that is so successful like you to find sponsor or new partners able to place some millions of euros? Why is it so challenging? It was not. It was not. No. So it was. Uh, No, you know, we had we had a couple of options, and and one of them was also uh, talking about the merger, but because there were several reasons for that, which I will not uh, disclose. But you know, uh, it was uh, one of the options, and there were several options. And yeah, at the end of the day, uh, there are processes, and you you walk, you run these processes, and unfortunately, things were in the paper. But yeah, for us, uh, we were already at that point uh, where we made a decision based on our cult culture, etc., um, to to move ahead in the future. Okay, so you're confident that the, the current system of, the, of cycling, with uh, working only with sponsor revenues, you think it's it's still feasible to to, to stay competitive, to be uh, yeah, to, to, to remain uh, an attractive sport? In the ah, that's a different question. <laughs> That's a different question. That's not about my team. That's yeah. about the whole yeah. system of cycling, and I think indeed that uh, the whole system of cycling should should uh, should change. And uh, you know, our competitor is not uh, the other team or the ASO or the, the Giro d'Italia. It's the other sports. It's football. It's rugby. It's uh, you know other new sports maybe coming in. These are our competitors, and we as cycling should really work together. And we have really good. I have really good relationships with uh, UCI, ASO, Jan Lomene, uh, You know that to try to build an, a better way, a better world of, uh, for cycling for the coming years. And cycling has, uh, you know, we we, we uh, maybe have to change uh, drastically our way of looking at cycling to make sure that we can maintain this way of racing for the longer future, because it's getting more and more difficult also for an organizer. To organize a race in the current, you know, if you, if I drive through Paris today, how many cars on the road and uh, how difficult it is to to uh, open a road or close a road for a race, and that's where we all together should really embrace each other and uh, make a new future. But that's that's for the whole of cycling. So uh, that's why I called out David Lapertien and Jan Lamonnier and to see how can we work together and we are progressing there and. You know, I'm in good contact with Jan, and hopefully we can we can do that for the future. And what type of uh, possibilities are you uh, exploring in order to improve? Yeah, <laughs> I know it's difficult. I, I will, it's a tricky question. Sorry. Yes, I t yeah, no problem. But I will tell you, uh, or we will tell you, or other people will tell you when when uh, the timing is there. And but that is necessary that we all have to adapt to uh, to to uh, the future but also already to today you know with all the uh, in, 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 in France all the roundabouts all the speed bumps all the poles in the middle of the road etc etc we have to think of is this in five years time still possible because it will be bigger more and more and more instead of less 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 and and uh, as cycling we should find ways how we can uh, how we can uh, be still uh, attractive also in 10 years time so i'm always working you know with a i dream with a deadline and uh, you know I, i put a dream in a couple of years and uh, put a deadline on it and say okay this is how it how it should look look like in 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 this amount of years and that's where we should work to, towards to because if you now think how it will look like for example in 2030 then you already should now start working to make sure that you are there right in time so and that's what we are doing thank you, thank you.